Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of PowerSlide Speaking Specs with me, Sam Crofts. So today I've got with me the MyFit SPC liner. It's a new flagship liner from MyFit using our new SPC foam. You may recall there was a video recently of Matthias testing the SPC foam by holding a ball weight and dropping it from about this height onto a bed of the foam. And as the ball landed, it just perfectly cushioned the impact. Now the main benefit of this is when it's applied to a liner, particularly for aggressive or FSK skating, is when you bone over to do like a, for example, a top sole or a fish brain or whatever, the pressure that your cuff may put into the side of your foot is massively alleviated by the use of this foam. It allows you to take a much harsher impact into the side of your foot. Uh, so the SPC foam runs all the way down the side of the foot, around the heel here and through your Achilles there. There's a neoprene heel for comfort and neoprene across the bridge of your foot and into the toe box. The entire toe box, as you can see, is neoprene. This allows it to be a dual size liner and catered to two sizes with one liner. Um, on the outside, we've also got a silicon grip here to prevent any heel lift that you may get or the liner slipping about inside the shell. Uh, going into the liner, it is a microfiber lining. So it's a very sort of, almost feels sticky to the touch. It's like, it's very grippy. When your foot goes inside, it's not gonna slip around like my hand will naturally grip against that. The inner sole is a, I believe it's a MyFit skate sole. Uh, recall padding on it, recall foam, uh, arch and heel support. So that will just grip and mold the shape of your foot over the course of its time. Uh, the main thing I wanna show you today with this liner though, is how to heat mold it. We can't stress enough with all MyFit products, particularly the liners, you must heat mold them. Re it's really important. The, the benefits are sort of, it's just so much more different from using it out of the packet to my fitting, uh, to my fitting it, to heat molding it. Right, so to heat mold it, you wanna take off the top laces. These come as standard with top laces. I choose not to use them, so I've taken mine off. You wanna take the inner sole out. Do this to both your liners. Get yourself an oven, preheated, just standard electric or gas oven will work. Uh, preheat it to 90 degrees Celsius. And place your liners just right in the middle of it. Very gently, make sure you don't fall to one side or the other, make sure they stand up straight. And leave that for eight to nine minutes. Now whilst that's heating, keep an eye on the time. Get yourself a chair, you're gonna need this for the next stage. Now get the skate that you're gonna mold it into and get them ready to be molded. So I've got a USD A on, I've left in my standard shock absorber, I've made the laces nice and loose, I've got the buckle open. So basically once it's done and ready, I can put it in there as quick as possible. So now you just gotta wait for your liners to be done. Okay, it's been eight minutes now, so I'm gonna take my liners out of the oven. Careful when you do this, it's gonna be hot. The liner itself is also gonna be very malleable at this temperature. It's gonna be much, much softer. So, taking it out of the oven as quick as you can before it cools down too much. Oh shit, should have had my shoes off. Get the inner sole back into the skate. If you pinch the top like this, you can get it in a little bit easier. Get the liner back into the skate and get the skate on your foot as quick as you can. Careful when you put it on, don't stamp down as you'll damage the Achilles padding. And get everything done up as quick as you can. Use waxed laces as well, if you can, as these will provide a tighter fit and grip across the bridge of your foot. And yes, tight as you can, quickly as you can. All right, next one. Oops. So yeah, inner sole, back into the liner. Liner into your skate. Foot in liner. Careful with the padding, it's gonna be very hot at this point. Also, bear in mind, with the liner being hot, we'd recommend using some thicker socks when you do it. Okay, so the next stage, which you're gonna need the chair for, whilst remaining seated, 
get yourself into a sort of skate slash like a ski stance. If your knees just slightly over your toes, it's a more natural position you're gonna be into skating as opposed to just sitting there with your feet in front of you. And just wait for these to fully cool down in their own time. Should only take about five, six minutes maximum. And yeah, you just gotta wait now. Okay, now I've had mine on for five or six minutes. Stand up and just stretch around them a little bit. I can already feel they're a lot comfier because they're more molded to the shape of my foot. As I take the liner off, and I look down inside of it, what was once very pronounced Achilles padding has now indented in, and I can actually see the shape of the outside of my ankle slightly embedded into this so it's more naturally fitting to the shape of my foot. This process can be repeated as many times as necessary for you to get the desired effect. And that's basically it, that's the long and short of it. It's been a power slide video, we love to skate. Bye.